So we saw that the LED was flashing, um, and in, it's it's uh, being refreshed fast enough that it just stays on. Um, but we're really not sure if the program is executing like we think it's supposed to be executing or not. So what I've done is I've put on a couple uh, scope probes. Um, one scope probe is monitoring the um, uh, the address D6. This address D6 uh, fires the one shot. So I'm looking here with the scope, and that's uh, going to be on the blue trace. And uh, the yellow trace I have on the um, uh, EEPROM on the chip select. So every time it's reading something from the EEPROM, chip select will be uh, asserted. And um, so if uh, the program is operating correctly, um, how many instructions do we have? We have a, a no op, that's one. We have an out, that's two. We have an address D6, that's three. We have a jump instruction, which is uh, C3 plus zero, zero, so four, five, six. So we should have six instructions in one loop of the, uh, of the, of the uh, program. So um, every time the LED flashes, um, six instructions should happen uh, in this loop. Um, so again, I have the uh, blue blue trace is hooked up to the uh, address D6, uh, the IO address D6, and the yellow trace is set to the chip select uh, of the EEPROM, which is going to be every single memory memory fetch. And that's what we see. Um, so these are the outputs uh, of the uh, memory address D6. So this is when the LED is told to flash. And then we have some fetches here. Everything is, is logic low. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then it flashes and then we have another six. So um, the program is operating absolutely correctly. So uh, this would be the output D6, and then followed by a jump 0, 0, and then a no op, and it should cycle around. Um, so anyway, we verify that the, uh, the program is actually, is actually uh, operating correctly. Let's, uh, let's zoom out a bit, take a single one of these. And then we can zoom in on on what's going in. So you can see it's a flash, 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 and there's our, se our uh, repeating sequence. So I don't see anything funny going on anywhere else. So we're not getting any interrupts. Everything is uh, operating correctly. It's nice and solid. So we're ready to go. So we have a working board. Um, uh, the uh, address scheme works everything fine. So I think the next step would be uh, maybe we can try to uh, talk to some I.O. Um, I don't have any edge connectors of the right size. Um, so that would be a good thing to have. Then I can hook up some I.O. devices. So see if I can't find some edge connectors of the right size. Uh, both the serial interface and the parallel interface. Um, and then maybe we could hook up a, an input port and an output port. And then uh, when we get more advanced, we can actually start uh, talking to it with RS-232. Um, if we do get it talking RS-232, then we could actually think about putting maybe a monitor program onto this thing. And so if we can actually uh, actually get it to talk. That'd be pretty cool. We don't need much of the other chips. Uh, we're not going to be using the timer chip. Um, we're not going to be using the um, the interrupt chip. We're not going to be using the multibus. Um, but we will we'll be using the ROM and the RAM, the uh, UART, which is this, and then the parallel ports, which are these. Um, we can do quite a bit with that. So uh, see if I can get that working.